Before I dive into the architecture, we thought uh, let's spend one or two minutes just on a very short demo of business by design that you've seen it at least uh, before I then explain uh, or we take a joint look under the hood of that amazing engine. You arrive at the home screen of business by design. And here you have the overview, and that is the most uh, important topic which I tell all of my customers. Make sure that you familiarize yourself and all of your users with the basic navigation patterns in business by design. Uh, you have the certain tiles through which, with a single click action, you can start to launch certain business capabilities. You have on the left side uh, the list of the work centers. The work centers are obviously relevant to your role. And if you scroll down uh, in the system, then you can also see one of the things that we would have never dared to do in the past. That was to present analytical content directly at the main screen. It would have just taken too long. Thanks to the HANA in memory technology today, we can do this easily. Um, and let me just give you a quick view on how we use analytics. I've given up years ago to believe that I will ever run into a customer who will say, hey, Rainer, I really like this report. Can we please leave it as it is? It is always that the companies say, yep, that's very interesting, but um, let me show you how you cope with that but in business by design. Uh, let's analyze our sales order volume a little bit in a greater level of detail. So you click on analyze data and what opens up is a so-called analytical pattern. If you understand the capabilities of the analytical pattern once, you will find it in each and every screen of business by design. So you just learn it once. That's the beauty of the pattern-based user interface. Here in this example, I could now narrow down um, the analysis that I want to do, or I could say, come on, show me the whole thing as a table. For the sake of this little demo, let's do that. And I talked about that I can't predict what companies really want to see. Therefore, what we do is we disclose in business by design the underlying data cubes, the underlying analytical data cubes. And what you can do now is to say, I don't want to see the breakdown by month. I want to see an ABC analysis. I want to see who are the customers who I'm doing business with. And let's say, I want to see the actual sales orders behind it. If you click on OK, the system recalculates the entire report on the fly in main memory and presents the results to you. And here comes the second key innovation in business by design. Traditionally, you had a transactional subsystem and an analytical subsystem. These two systems were separated in the past uh, because the transactional folks were scared that the analytics folk would run large reports which would have an, a performance impact on the transactional side. That problem is gone. So instead of scribbling down now a certain order number in business by design, I just say, show me the sales order. And the system immediately presents to me the actual order. And if I want to know a bit more about that order, then the system also shows me it is a sales order where I am right now. And if it would have been uh, preempted by a quote, an opportunity and a lead, I would three more boxes uh, to the left. I obviously didn't have the goods in stock that I was selling. Therefore, the system automatically raised the purchase order. Once the goods were available, uh, we did the outbound delivery and we produced the customer invoice. If I now want to know more about the customer invoice, well, then it's sufficient to just click on the link to the invoice. I navigate through. And if I would like to see how did that invoice physically look like, then the system directly generates the PDF for me. Um, that is the level of transparency that my mid-market customers really love to have. That is the ease of running through a business process, and that is what they really enjoy. Therefore, that much as a very short summary or very short demo of how business by design looks like before we now dive into the architecture of business by design.